Healthcraft, provider of cookware, cutlery, and food processing equipment for Harrison Company. Hey, it is that time of the week when sh I'm trying to get this apron on and it won't go on. It's too short right here, but it says tips for tots, which uh, it's for St. Patrick's Day. And we got some people in the audience to tell us about that in a few minutes. But anyway, it is that time when I get my cooking lesson of the week. And this one's going to be a good one for St. Patrick's Day. Mr. Charles Knight, the creator <laughs> hey. of Healthcraft Cookware. Mine won't cook uh, Mine didn't go gotta, on so I gotta well. I got to dress you here, too. No, right? it won't go on there. It's you just it's uh, too close. Too close. No, that's okay. Just no, let it. Okay, just hang it That'll there. just kind of... What do you here. mean people from New Jersey talk funny? You guys, well, I, <laughs> when we were off the air there just a minute ago, I was like, you from Rawlings and whatever, and hat set on the button and whatever, I don't know what. Did you hear the story about the, the husband and wife from New Jersey? They just moved to Florida. They were driving along in a car. And he says, honey, she says, she, the wife says to the husband, she says, would you be sad if I died? He says, well, of course I have. We've been married 40 years. He said, if, if I died, would you get married again? She says, uh... He says, probably I would. He says, would you let the, he says, would you let your new wife move into the home? He said, I kind of like the home, probably. She says, would you let him use your new Healthcraft cookware? My new Healthcraft cookware? He says, yeah, I kind of like the cookware. She says, what about my golf clubs? She says, he says, no, she's left-handed. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't try this at home, folks. Two jokes in one day. Yeah, two bad jokes. Anyway. What we're, oh, I forgot to, we're going to be at the Southern Woman Show this week. I know you're going to be there, we're going to be there, so yeah. we got to make sure we say that. So come Not just the Southern us. Woman Show, it's a Southern Women's Show. Women's Show. There's more yeah, than one. More than one woman, yes. Why do they call this corned beef? Good. Maybe it's because of the joke. <laughs> it was because of the joke. You tell a Good bad question. joke over it, it becomes corned beef. Good question. I, don't, I really don't know. I was, I was looking up, trying to figure out, I looked at the, the, uh, the package to see, see why they court, uh, call it corned beef. And I got my nose fixed. My mouth doesn't work anymore. So. <laughs> but I have no idea. But anyway, it's, okay. I guess maybe it's the way it's cooked. So today, you're going to get a cooking lesson on how to cook corned beef and cabbage. All right, I am All right. ready. Are you ready? Yep. First thing you do is put the corned beef in the pan. Just slip that in the pan. Yeah, slip it in the pan. Very Ooh. good. Boy, that's like a little manatee. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, we hear from people on that one. Well, anyway. I mean, it slides down, slides, slips, and slides anyway, around a big hunk of beef. Not to be uh, confused with the possibility we might be cooking manatee. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, all right. Here's the secret ingredient to this: put two tablespoons of uh, horseradish. Now, that's horseradish with uh, with beets. Oh, I was going to say. That's why it's New England. Uh, corned beef. And Would this cabbage. be heaping teaspoons or just teaspoons? Just good, two good teaspoons. Good. Yeah, two good good side. You have to get that any Just place. Just them down. Get it in there, right? Okay. There's one heaping. There's one there good go. teaspoon. Right. Here's I, another good teaspoon. I can see I'm going to have to help to move this along a little bit quicker. And then the green. Right. All of it. Okay. All of it. All over. All right. No, wait a minute. I gave you the wrong thing first. I meant to give you the onions. Okay. All over. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. All over. Okay. All right. Now that's about okay. a cup of or a whole onion, one whole onion chop. All right. That's garlic. That's four or five. I use a little bit more than most people. Oh, that's garlic, good. Garlic's like good garlic. for you. Yes. It right, keeps the vampires away. All right. There you go. That's that's good, Jack. Okay. okay. Anyway. All right. To that, you want to take two basil leaves and crush them. Just two basil Just leaves? crush them. Why don't these come crushed? Because you always crush them. Well, then you, we wouldn't have any show to do here. Well, I know. <laughs> you just turn them over like that and kind of... There you go. Just crush them up real good. Like... All right. Okay. Now, th this is the key ingredient. When you go to the store... They give you this little pack of stuff, and it's peppercorns and basil, and I mean basil, but um, what you just put in there. What was that? Bay leaves. Okay. Oh, that's what they give you. So you can use the package. There's are done a little more. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's. Right. Okay. Mustard seed. How much? Just a little bit. All right, about a tablespoon or so. A little bit more. That'll do it. There you go. And to that, we're going to add some black peppercorns. Man, this is going to be spicy. It is. Well, that's what it is. That's why they call it corned beef. No, I believe this I... is probably what. <laughs> there you go. This would account for Irish breath. All right. <laughs> okay. On top of that, oh, no, we're going to do, oops, oops. we're going to do this next. All right, your beer, just a little okay, bit of beer. Okay, here we go. Oh, you go in here. This goes in here. Right? How much of this goes in here? Just about a quarter cup, but in your case, probably two cans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that should be, that should be enough. All right. Uh -huh. See the reaction just you get? Just put this right down here. here. All right, now, now you add the carrots. You can put the carrots in. And I'll cut the cabbage Just up. Just flop them in there? Just flop them in there, any way you want. Now, we're going to cook this on top of the stove. Go ahead. All right. We're going to cook oh. this on top of the stove 
you can put that one in. We don't want to waste anything, you know. I'll just stand yeah. that one right there. There you go. I would have probably done that if we weren't on television. All right. I mean, you're going to heat it. I mean, That's what can right. it do? That's not going to make any difference. Then you stick. Actually, what you want to do is cook this for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Then put the cabbage in because you don't want to overcook. And then what you do is put the lid on, and we're going to cook this on top of the stove. Now, if you cook this in the oven, it's two or three hours. Yeah. On top of the stove, it's just one hour. Oh, right? wow. So stick that over here. And here's what it looks like when it comes out. Oh. Isn't oh, that gorgeous? Those, look at all the spices right? and stuff in there. Now, oh, we forgot to put the, that is, uh, that is parsley, okay? Now, okay. the key here is this. Let me show you how to cut corned beef, because that's the important way. It, matter of fact, I'm going to let you cut it. Well, I don't all know right? how to cut it. I thought you <laughs> well, were the one. We're going to show you, all right? What okay. you want to do is this. You want to cut this way on the corners, all right? Just cut, slice. This is very important, because this, this you want to cut a little bit thinner. A little thinner? Right, a little bit thinner, yeah, a little bit thinner. You can go to the next piece. I think I better. There you go, all right? Now, you, it, once you've got the corner cut a little bit, then cut this corner. Like See? now? Yeah, go ahead. See, now this is the key. This is what makes it tender, because if you don't cut it right, it's going to be real tough on you. All right? And then you're ready to, then you're ready to serve. And then the last thing you do is kind of go back to the point and cut that. What's the right? point? The point. The point that you created. See the point? Oh, this there point you right here. You get the point. All right? Okay, now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. See, and that's how you cut corned beef. Well, I, don't, I didn't know that. Oh, I forgot. I brought these for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I always thank see you. I was at the store. We got the ties. There's only one tie left, so I got <laughs> this for you instead. I know you wear that later, right? I hope my wife's not watching this. She does okay, the carving at our house. All right. Now you're ready to serve. Oh, All yes. Right? Couple pieces of corned beef. All right. Couple of uh, piece of cabbage. A whole piece of cabbage. One of these whole things. Yeah, a whole thing. All right. That's the way oh, you eat it. Molly. The whole thing. There you go. There's nothing special and, about the cabbage, then. And it's some just carrots. Cabbage, right? Yeah, it's just regular carrots. What we did is we cut, uh, we cooked this waterless and greaseless, and we cooked it all together. Well, there's right? a nice tender carrot. How about a tater? There you go, and a tater. You and there's your corned beef and cabbage, all ready for St. Patrick's Day, done right before your eyes in, in about an hour. How about a big hand for that? Oh, that something? great. There you go. Fantastic. Now, the real test comes as we check it out over here with... Pete to see how he feels about it, being it has, from has Jersey. It served with Bud Light, though. Yeah, except you can't drink that on the air. <laughs> you have any Italian bread? Give it a shot. Any Italian bread. Yeah, we're an Irish meal like this. Is there such a thing as Irish bread? Irish bread? I don't think so. My, there I, is. is there? A, it's soda is bread, isn't it? Soda bread. Soda bread. Soda bread. My right, wife right. made some of that the other day. That's it is. I, if she weren't watching, or if I wanted to, never mind. I don't even want to talk about it. So, Brett, how, what do you Brett, think, Pete? Oh, it's excellent. Very this good. This is good, isn't it? All right. Hey, here's how to get a copy of the recipe. Write to New England Corned Beef and Cabbage, Box 888, Tampa 33601. I don't know why they call it New England, but they do. So there it is, New England Corned Beef and Cabbage. And our thanks to Charles right. Knight. Thank you. Another masterful job of trying to teach me to cook. We'll be back and learn all about Bush Gardens costumes in a moment.